To make your creepy cuties today, you're going to need some empty juice boxes. You're going to need some black, white, purple, green, and orange paint, a large, thick, permanent magic marker, some googly eyes of your choice, some white glue, some masking tape, and a nice soft brush. Juice boxes. I've got three juice boxes over here. Uh, from my daughter. We've been saving these boxes. And I had seen an article about 10 years ago on how to make tiny monsters uh, for Halloween. So we are going, we here at Historical Recreations are going to take these boxes and we are going to make three little monsters. Okay. And of course, at historical recreations and prop making, we usually go the distance. So this is my take on the little juice box monsters. The first thing we need to do is get the juice out of the juice box and make sure they're nice and dry and clean. And the second thing we need to do is we are going to paint them completely black with black acrylic paint. So let's do that next. Once you get your boxes all blacked out here. Now I used a mixture of acrylic paint and then at one point I actually experimented with a black permanent magic marker. It just went right over it. It works nicely too. It actually was kind of smooth but I did two in black permanent magic marker and I did two with acrylic paint. One gave me texture and one gave me just a nice nice even coat flat. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at different types of monsters. So let's do some random drawings. Juice boxes. I've got three juice boxes over here uh, from my daughter. We've been saving these boxes. And I had seen an article about 10 years ago on how to make tiny monsters uh, for Halloween. So we are going, we here at Historical Recreations are going to take these boxes and we are going to make three little monsters okay and of course at historical recreations and prop making we usually go the distance so this is my take on the little juice box monsters the first thing we need to do is get the juice out of the juice box and make sure they're nice and dry and clean and the second thing we need to do is we are going to paint them completely black with black acrylic paint so let's do that next Okay, so basically, uh, as a designer, I had to come up with some kind of concept ideas. So the first one I wanted to do would be like that. Oh, isn't that cute? A uh, little Frankenstein monster. And then the next one I got down, ooh, kind of like an angry pumpkin. I like the idea. First of all, I had the idea of doing a ghost. And I thought, if I make a ghost and an angry pumpkin, and I came up with this idea. And then I came up with... <gasps> Isn't that cute? That's a little, kind of looks like uh, the, uh, the count there. And the last one is going to be a mummy. What I was thinking about doing is maybe changing his all white tuxedo to black. He looks a little bit more like vampire. Is that better? Yeah. So if you like my drawings, this is the conceptual. So let's begin on making our monsters. Now the different ways to put these on here. These are googly eyes. I went down to our local art shop and got some googly eyes. And look at that. I have five big ones and Whole package of smaller ones. So let's do some experimentation right here. Let's see what's going to look good. We want to put, oh, well, that's kind of clever. We can actually mix the eyes up and make them kind of look kind of cute and goofy. Look at that. How about that? Cute and goofy? More? That's going to look kind of, that's going to look kind of cool, huh? Maybe just one with the regular eyes, like that. And let's see. 
you know, make two with the regular eyes. You could, if you wanted to, you could put three on there, but yeah, I don't know. You need to always play with your props. You got to really figure out what things are going to look like. I think maybe one of them with that and then just regular. Yeah, I think that's going to work for me. Okay, now let's actually, now that we know what our eyes are going to look like, let's start painting our boxes. The first one we're going to do today is the mummy, and you're going to need some masking tape. Now, before you do the mummy, make sure that you know where your eyes are, what kind of eyes you're going to want, because you got to put the eyes on the mummy first before you do the other ones. The other ones, mummy, eyes, and the other eyes come second. So right now, let's glue the eyes on. I'm using just a white glue today. A little bit of white glue. It's a very easy project to do. It takes but a moment for that to go on. Once you get your eyes on, you're going to start now peeling off pieces of masking tape and you're just going to start wrapping the, the little guy over here in crisscross patterns like a mummy would be and then we're going to do some overlaying of color so the best part is I need to show you is how to do the eyes we want the eyes a little bit exposed and a little bit protected here like this so people can see the eyes but at the same time we don't want to completely give them away okay so let's do that it's already looking like a mummy so let's wrap up our little guy here and finish him off and see what he looks like <laughs> look how cute he is uh, if you're into something like this it's it's just I love it. Maybe you like it just the way it looks. Maybe you like that whole um, tape look on there. Maybe that's the way you want it to look. But I want to use an acrylic white today and I want to coat these bandages. So we have not only this rustic color, but we also have a kind of a white bandage uh, look to it. That's the very easy one to do for our first little monster. We have a mummy done. And here at the prop shop, we do everything. Look at his little face. Isn't he cute? We like gothic things here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run a soft brush very, very lightly over. We don't want too much of the original tape to be covered. Just enough to give it a material look. Now some people have uh, painted the mummies and stuff like that, but I I feel like I don't know. I just like this look right now. This is this is my design. Just enough. Look at that. We're gonna do it. look at all the sides here. And that's just enough information. And we're gonna do the whole mummy here. And then when I finish it I'll show you what it's gonna look like okay now for our next creepy cutie I'm using today an ultramarine violet and I'm mixing this into a mixture of white because we want a nice light lavender colored skin for our vampire I'm not really sure exactly where the lavender skin color came from. I don't know if that was Sesame Street or if that was, I don't know, the Munsters, but we want to remember to use the black. Okay, we want to put just enough paint on there so we have some black showing through.
Yes, and I am going to paint as much of the box as possible. See how I got a little bit of black coming through there? Nice dry brush technique here. I love this color. Oh, that's a nice piece right there. And because the tuxedo will be down there, I won't have to go that far down, but that came out really nice. All right. Today I'm using a yellow green 40 for our little Frankenstein monster. And I'm going to be using another brush over here. Let's choose another brush. Okay. Another dry, not another dry brush method. We want the black to come through. And let's, ooh, this is going to be kind of cool. Look at that. I'm going to just apply just enough information so we have a little bit of the black from behind coming through. Wow, he's going to look great. You can see why I asked you to paint the whole box black. Nice dry brush, nice dry brush method here. What I will do is I will finish this and show you what it looks like. For our last one tonight, I'm using a apricot yellow 606. I really love this color. I think this really makes a nice monster pumpkin color. Let's paint this up now. Doing again our dry brush method. That's the base. You can go back and put a second coat on it if you really wanted to however preferably you would like to have the black come through and as you can see the brush strokes that are making are kind of just crisscross over here just enough information to let the other people know that it's a monster or a pumpkin or a ghost or a vampire just enough information. Okay, we're gonna let these dry. Okay, so let's go back to our vampire and we're going to apply 
the eyes that we have chosen. This is going to be so cute, right? Put a little bit of glue down. I'm going to say something as a prop maker and designer. Um, if they kind of look like a child made them, <laughs> it's even better. Um, but we need to now draw in with a permanent magic marker the hairline. Okay. You can see what I'm doing. I'm layering stuff on top of stuff. And it makes quite a big uh, bit of a difference. And I'm going to put a mouth down here. And I'm going to actually add some teeth. So let me pencil in where I think that his tuxedo would go. And then Let's continue. Just by using the permanent magic marker, I can cover over any areas. I like the roughness. I, I like that it's it's not how do you say is a this is not a, a sense of perfection there. Oh I like the back. The back came out really nice. Very, very easy. And let's add those teeth. <laughs> Cute. Okay. And let's make a hairline. I believe with the, the hair, I'm going to do the hair in acrylic. Okay, and put our little guy aside. Now we have our Frankenstein monster. And let's go back into here. You know what? Maybe he deserves to have two eyeballs that don't match because he's made up of parts. Right? This is fun. And using white glue, it dries, dries clear. Okay, the next thing we want to do is using our black permanent magic marker, I'm going to create a mouth. I say it looks like that. And even the scar line would be nice. Oh, okay, we can fix that. So now we get to work on our little guy over here. And I think I really like this one because it kind of, I don't know if it looks more like fur, but um, I kind of like the concept of it kind of being a pumpkin and kind of being a furry monster. And we're just going to pop these eyes on. I thought they should be a little bit more wider spaced than the other ones. And we're going to create a mouth over here. So let's do that now. So depending on the size that we want to, and I really liked from the drawing that I had done, I like the mouth to just kind of extend over like this, like he's hollowing. Ah! <laughs> so let's do that. Let's... uh paint that in here and you know what I thought maybe I should put some like spots on here too some like kind of like I don't know, kind of like little spots and dots and stuff so let's paint that in black and see what it looks like ah, ah, ah. came out pretty good okay I what I used was the permanent magic marker that's why there's a nice kind of smooth reflectiveness to that and I did add a lot more spots to that kind of has that Swiss cheese effect to it okay so let's look at the other monsters now this was our original drawings and this is what we came up with now 
A couple things we need to finish is we need to do the white on the vampire down here and his teeth. And I'm thinking about maybe even putting a little couple white dots in here for some some teeth on our monster. So let's do that now. Okay, I'm going to put some white into the teeth over here. And let's put down here. Tuxedo part. That looks good. And let's try for a couple random teeth on this little guy. Alright. <laughs> Another option I can do is I can add a little bit of white up here to our vampire guy and make him a little bit more suave. More. Yeah, look at that. Love it. Our little creepy cuties. Okay, here they are, our creepy cuties, very easy to make. 